Senator Chuck Schumer, the third ranking Democrat, is opposed to the Iran deal. Huffington Post reports on this, quote, Schumer's move will come a day after fellow New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand announced her support for the deal. Schumer's support of a war footing over diplomacy puts him at odds with the Democratic caucus he intends to lead next term. As the soon-to-be leader of his party in the Senate, Schumer's decision to directly fight Obama on the biggest foreign policy achievement of his presidency is a bold but not surprising move. Schumer has long been more hawkish on foreign policy than some of his fellow Democrats. In 2002, he voted for the authorization for the use of military force in Iraq. In 2006, get this, he backed John Bolton's nomination to serve as George W. Bush's ambassador to the United Nations, reportedly telling a Senate Democratic caucus meeting that a vote against Bolton was a vote against Israel. Okay, uh, here's what I have to say to Chuck Schumer. www.stepasidebitch.com You think you're going to lead the Democrats when you disagree with the Democrats on every important issue? My ass cheeks, you're going to lead the Democrats. How about that? If I'm President Obama, I'm going ham on this, man. You're a Democrat. You voted for the Iraq war. Strike one, you're out. <laughs> there is no two and three. But then also, you supported John Bolton? John Bolton? John Bolton is such a fucking neocon, he makes Dick Cheney look like Bernie Sanders. John Bolton is the guy who was pushing for war with Iran, uh, during the Bush administration, he wanted war more than anybody. Uh, again, I mean, Donald Rumsfeld looks like he's in code pink next to this motherfucker. And a Democrat, Chuck Schumer, supported John Bolton. And now you're opposing the Iran deal. No, I I'm, I'm, I'm done with you. I've, I've had it. It's over. It's over. I mean, again, if I'm any of the Democrats, and to be clear here, right before I came on air, some articles are being released now. The rest of, even the establishment Democratic Party, who I often go after, even they're like, okay, you're done. <laughs> I, I love to see that. I love it when the establishment Democrats, every once in a while, they'll end up on the right side of an issue, and they're just like, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> but, so what Chuck Schumer is saying is, on this issue, I am a Republican. I'm exactly with them on this. Okay, well then, why don't you go join that fucking party? How about that? And it's not just one major issue where you're with them. I just gave you two others, and those are very fucking important issues. All right, they're still not done. They say, Despite the backlash from supporters of the nuclear deal, Schumer was under mounting pressure to oppose the accord. He has a sizable Jewish constituency and has developed close ties to the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, the influential pro-Israel lobbying group that has pledged over $20 million to kill the nuclear accord. During his 34 years in Congress, Schumer has become fond of telling his voters that his surname is derived from Shomer, the Hebrew word for guardian. Quote, I am a Shomer for Israel, and I will continue to be that with every bone in my body, he said in 2010. Ha! So you're picking Israel over the U.S. is what you're doing. Uh, but, by the way, you're not even really doing that, even though you think you're doing that, because Netanyahu and Likud are dead wrong about the deal. They're actually making Israel less safe as a result of this deal. Nothing would make Israel more safe than this deal. This deal makes it so that it's guaranteed that Iran does not get a nuclear weapon, and the IAEA gets to live up the ass of the Ayatollah.